Jason from Diesel Gym. I'm here with Eugene Eckleboom, seven times world champion. And today he's going to show you three little tips to help you work that clinch. Okay, guys, first tip how to count to count to knees. Right here, we're in the clinch, we can be in any position, we can be top lock, doesn't matter, that's not the important bit. The important bit is the awareness of your, of your arm, home and his knees. So, for example, if you throw right knees, right knee, bang, he puts his foot down, he's planted, he's quite safe, right? So, we do that again, bang, opposite way, eh? He can't put his foot down to get his balance again, and you dump him on the ground, which is a great score in Thailand. So what you can do, suck your fighter in, let him get a few knees. Let him get his confidence up, knee, and wait for it. Okay, guys, tip number two, we're going to be working the elbows in the clinch, okay? So, say we're in the clinch from here, we've got a right arm, or a top lock, for example, left arm's here tight, eh? I can yank down, walk from there, I can yank down, elbow, okay? The trick is, when you're clinching, have your head in close, okay? If you're out here, easy the elbow, okay? So, head in close. You work from there, work in the knees. Don't be sucking into front, elbow, elbow, elbow. Set them up, okay? Work the knees, work the knees, and from there when he's down, elbow, and just go down, and then roll over slowly, okay? Also, another good example is a rear elbow. The right hand's in close. Again, my head's in, head's in nice and tight. You're working the knees, not getting sucked into the elbow, so he doesn't think it's coming. When you're ready, out, elbow. So again, tight, push it out, Roll up the elbow. Right there, guys. Number three tip: um, dumping your fighter on the ground. So this is a technique I learned in my early ages, and I've always loved it for some reason. Um, so say we come into the clinch, we're clinching, and from there I want to I want to close that distance because when that distance there, he can knee me. So I want to get in close like that. So once I've done that, I'm close. Arm tight, hey, tight like that. From there, I get the legs wide. I can feel his knees now. So if he's got a knee, I can feel it. I've been done like that. But for this example, we've got tight, head in close. Now I get my left arm under his armpit like that. And all I've got to do is push with my right arm, you pull. So push, pull, we do that at the same time. So we're like this, bang, and done. So if I do it from this side, I come in the clinch, I've got him tight, like that, legs wide. I've got controls at my left arm under his armpit. I pull and I push. Don't pull that wide, pull behind you. Alright guys, for a bit of advice out there for you fighters, or young kids that train, or people that just do it for fun and fitness, is um, keep plugging away. I remember leaving training, walking down the stairs, with a tear down my eye because I thought I had a bad session or I got beat up in sparring. But I kept coming back, keep plugging away, and uh, trust me guys, you put in hard work, the, um, you will benefit from the rewards. Thank you.